Iceland is cold, but not as cold as Greenland. Those clever Vikings named the green place Iceland and the icy place Greenland. Excellent move. But what awaits us there? Are there skyscrapers, fast food chains, strip clubs? So then what are we building? Holy sh**. Hey guys, these locations and videos take an insane amount of time to make and we need help. If you want to be in these videos and help us build, a link to apply is in the description. Okay guys, so the Singapore video is doing very well. How do we feel about that? I no longer need a therapist Maybe. to tell me how I feel. Pippin, Pippin, I have something to show you. Uh, it's for the Ugh. DMs and you should record Ugh, the DMs dude. as a video. No. I'm not into that. I'm not sh I haven't said- shut- uh, I'll- <laughs> Listen here. Check your little messages there. Give it a little taste. A little I'm look. not gonna look at my messages. No, I think you should. Listen here. It did not let no! me select multiple. Do you want to take this outside? Video, I, I will kick you the sh the asshole in the sh Are you guys ready to start a countdown? 1,000. 999. 998. 997. Go! 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 Iceland is a very young island. How young do you ask? About 20 million years. Pretty young. It began to appear at that time because of the volcanic activity of what's called the Icelandic hotspot, which rests on a gigantic molten rock deep in the Earth's mantle, which is responsible for the continuous volcanic activity that created the island. Iceland was settled late in human history. How late do you ask? We don't know. There's actually some literary evidence that Irish monks lived there prior to Norse settlement of Iceland. It says they left behind books, bells, and crosshairs, but no archaeological evidence of this has ever been found. Recent archaeological excavations have unearthed the ruins of a cabin that was abandoned somewhere between 770 and 880 AD, proving that there was someone likely meditating and enjoying what was at the time considered one of the most isolated places on Earth. Until... The Norsemen arrived. The first to accidentally discover it was Ned Odd, who accidentally found it after losing his way in a storm. He saw the vicious winter and named it Snayland, which means Snowland. The first to intentionally arrive would be a man named Floki, who arrived in winter to watch the season pass and the entire island turn green, which left him shocked. Realizing the island was habitable and full of natural resources, he returned to Norway with the news. In 874, many Norse chieftains, their families, and slaves settled in a place they called Reykjavik, which would eventually become the capital of Iceland to this day. Most of these settlers were fleeing the harsh rule of the current Norwegian king and an overcrowded western fjord which was leading to raids and incursions into Britain. Iceland was fully settled within 60 years, and experienced uninterrupted growth for the first few centuries of its civilization's existence. Archaeological evidence of these settlements from these people have been found in Greenland and eastern Canada. Yep, you heard it here. Columbus was not the first to discover America from Europe. I have so many questions. Anyways, the Icelandic people were primarily pagan. I'm talking old school, ancient religious shit. They worshipped the Norse gods, namely Odin, Thor, Freyr, and everything seemed fine until we get to the turning of the millennium with increased pressure from all over Europe to convert to Christianity. A pair of missionaries met limited success. They managed to convert a few people, got ridiculed by everyone else, killed a few people in retaliation, and then ran out of dodge. But when Olaf Tryggvason, a Christian convert, ascended to the Norwegian throne, things intensified. He first sent a guy who violently destroyed the pagan sanctuaries and images of heathen gods, which got him outlawed and forced to return to Norway. Then King Olaf sent another guy, who did better, managed to convert a few chieftains, but also killed two or three men in the process. When the king heard of his second emissary's failure, he went wild. He cut off trade, kidnapped Icelandic natives living in Norway, and threatened to kill them if the country didn't convert. The Christian minority in Iceland took this opportunity to ramp up their conversion attempts. The country started dividing into religious factions, threatening civil war, and shit is about to go off. So instead of annihilating themselves in a religious civil war, they have a meeting and reach a compromise. Christianity can become the new religion as long as the old pagan laws, like being able to eat horse meat, remain, and they are able to make pagan sacrifices to the old gods in private. Everyone agreed to this. So, it was only natural that these concessions were completely outlawed sometime later once Christianity had complete control of the island years later. And so the old ways died, not with a war, but with a whimper. In 1220, a political version of this happened in concert with the declining power of Iceland's native commonwealth. Clans loyal to Norway's monarchy waged a war against the other clans of Iceland, and after decades of conflict, Iceland acquiesced to Norwegian rule. In concert with this, Iceland began to experience a mini ice age, making their winters even harsher than they already were, and significantly changing their economy for the worse with increased hardship. In 1380, the death of Olaf II extinguished Norway's male royal line, making Norway, and thus Iceland, a part of Denmark. Denmark did not eat Iceland's fish and homespun 
Taiwan rule, drastically increasing their trade deficit. Things were so bad, Iceland's colony in Greenland died out completely. And in the 16th century, with absolute monarchy falling upon Denmark, Iceland relinquished all of their autonomy to the crown, including any ability to consent to the changing of laws. Could it get any worse? Don't say that. Iceland was then raided in 1627 by Barbary pirates that abducted 300 Icelanders into slavery. Later, the king of Denmark began to impose Lutheranism on all of Northern Europe, and several Icelandic bishops vehemently opposed this. This mounted to a battle between the bishop's Catholic followers and the Lutheran reformers. The bishop experienced a close defeat and surrendered, and the Lutheran reformers promptly cut his head off. And so the Icelandic people reasonably concluded that Lutheranism was the better religion and remained largely Lutheran to this day. After that, Iceland blew up. No, seriously. Iceland's volcano Lackey erupted, killing 9,000 people and 80% of the livestock. The ensuing starvation killed a quarter of the population, 25%. It gets worse. After economic recovery from the eruption in the 18th century, World War I broke out and they experienced a food shortage and costly constraints on their exports. Then the Great Depression hit, as the worldwide economy plummeted and the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War cut Iceland's exports of saltfish by half, all the way until World War II. The British blockade began when war broke out in September 1939, which erased German ships from Iceland's coast. Iceland demanded Britain allow it to trade with Germany, all while the Nazis invaded Denmark, Iceland's host country regarding diplomatic relations and politics. When they lost all communication with Denmark, Iceland elected a provisional governor and set up an office for foreign affairs, making Iceland fully sovereign by default. With all countries opening direct diplomatic relations in the wake of the expanding Nazi territory, Britain offered protection and Iceland refused in a bid to reassert their neutrality. But when the Germans took over Norway, Britain decided it could not risk a German takeover of the island so Britain invaded Iceland on May of 1940. The invasion was met with no resistance, but with verbal protest of it being a flagrant violation of Icelandic neutrality, though Icelandic leaders told everyone to treat the British with politeness, as if they were guests. The occupation lasted for the duration of the war, and the Nazis never invaded Iceland. During the war, Iceland made a deal with the United States for defense, ending the British occupation with a replacement for United States soldiers. The United States and British involvement in Iceland economically boosted the country from all the foreign money, job creation, and manifestation of projects. Iceland went from being one of Europe's poorest countries pre-war to one of the wealthiest. Decades later, Iceland got some sweet revenge against the British in Cod Wars. Call of Duty? No. Disputes won over expanding their fishing territories. It's clear that the Icelandic people have been through a lot, so the least we can do for them is build their country one-to-one -one scale in Minecraft. Beer was banned in Iceland until 1989, ending a prohibition that lasted 74 years since 1915. There's no McDonald's. This is a little place I like to call Kirk Jubeglauster. Kirk Jube Kirk Jube Kirk Jube Jark Gloucester? Okay, I think I got it. It's a little village off the coast of southern Iceland, complete with waterfalls, plains, and incredible rock formations. For this building month, I decided to do something a little special. Since Iceland's terrain is so convoluted and interesting, we needed a little extra help, so we invited BTE Nordic and BTE Terraforming to help us with this project. I decided to pick six smaller locations, starting with a central location that has both terraforming and house building. Once this location was complete, it would unlock a village path and a terraforming path. Builders would have to complete the current unlocked locations on the tree in order to unlock the next in sequence, like a video game. It turns out that terraforming for Iceland was a real challenge, even with the two teams helping us. In Kirk, there was a point where buildings were completely finished and everyone was just waiting for terraforming to complete. So I changed the rules a little bit, and if buildings were finished, we could unlock the next location on Village Path. So we did. Introducing Halorm... Halorm Stahl... Halorm Stahlkugger. Halorm Stahlkugger. Hal... Halorm... Halorm Stahlkugger. Halorm Stahl... 
This little village is nestled in one of the few forests of Iceland. While the builders were placing tree after tree after tree, me and Shy Guy realized the sheer amount of terraforming that would swamp and stifle our progress this month. So we made a plan to duplicate his expertise. We created Terraform School. Why have one Shy Guy working when you can have Shy Guy teach 10 more Shy Guys who can in turn teach others? When the group completed Halarmsfjörn, we unveiled the next location. The current locations even on the village path for villages were pretty scant in terms of building numbers. So we satisfied them with a large village approaching the size of a small town. Say Seyoisfjörn? I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's a beautiful village on the coast neighboring two peninsulas. This location had a high number of buildings, so people could sink their teeth into what was familiar. But we were out of our element. Most of the builders of this group are used to just building the buildings one-to-one -one scale in Minecraft, which was what this whole project was supposed to be about. But this terrain is wrong. All wrong. The shapes are wrong. The elevation is usually 100 meters too high. Water is never where it's supposed to be. This entire project and throughout all of our videos, we've had to spend a significant amount of time clearing out the default Terra 1-1 terrain and making the terrain from scratch. It's almost as if we were catfished by this mod. OpenStreetMaps is the data source and it just wasn't ready for this project yet. During the last few weeks, progress really slowed after I opened the third location. So I got on the final weekend and got everyone to push hard to unlock more locations and to contour the final result.
We finished most of three locations and didn't have enough time to unlock the rest. These were Land Manilogger, Aspiregy Canyon, and Blue Lagoon. These would have looked amazing in Minecraft, especially Blue Lagoon, which is Iceland's most popular tourist attraction, and for good reason. Better luck next time. Okay, no, it's all working do it. now. Don't do it for oh boy. Please, please, no. They're from Australia? I'm just gonna turn on my shaders. Do we have oh my god. Why does it get so bright when I go above a certain elevation? Yeah, Literally like glowing. glowing. This is insane. If you just yeah. see what I'm seeing here. Oh my god, the light! Yeah, the the light! We're what closer the to God. Oh! The oh! Okay, this is awesome, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, teleport? Wait, there's an unfinished area here. I don't get the attraction of butt. Like, people poop out of butts. Why do people like butts? Why do people like feet so much? Well, feet are fine. I just don't get Why the people who are like freak out over feet. It's a foot. It looks slightly different from a hand. I have a very obscure. My biggest fear is a very obscure fear. What is your fear? A it's a fear of ice skating. You're in Canada. And I'm Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> Think about what it is. It's literally you're standing oh, on nice. knives that are glued yeah. to your shoes, which are tightly uh, on your feet. You can't get Get them off. Dude. You can't just slip out of them if you need to. Dude. You have shoes tightly wound to your feet with <laughs> oh knives on the God. bottom. If, that if you, you, if you, if you on... don't like that, you'll hate doing it in space suit. Dude, it <laughs> looks beautiful. <laughs> it yeah. looks it's beautiful. It's like a death trap. It looks that like suicide. Does it does it so, it. so how do you do trees like this? Dude, oh, walking through the forests is really cool. I'm like, I like feel like I'm a little elf. It's like I'm in, I'm in Fern Gully. You gotta slap on the shaders and then you get the full experience. Oh, the light. I can't see anything. It's well, like wait, God is visiting me. This is oh my like the God! The forest. forest is alive. Should I turn? Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, wait Pippin, you have the power to turn it onto night, right? You I want to see what the forest is like at night. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, oh. This is scary. No, this is like this yeah. is yeah. He went from really oh, nice no. to like fucking terrifying. Oh. This is like this is like Sunderman eight pages. This is just a beautiful building. That's just beautiful. That's a problem. Oh God! Oh God! So Wrong. beautiful. Oh, oh God. Gone. Pippin. No longer Listen. here. Pippin. Whoa, yeah. Jesus. Yes. What? You see this church? It's so precious. Church? Pippin, please, please this resist this your. This is... But I, I oh, really, no. I'm really no, just no, taken by this time. church. Pippin, don't. I say. It's just so. Pretty. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! He unearthed a religious artifact. Wow. It must be destroyed, dude. Be destroyed. It's, that's oh, not gonna work. There, okay, why is that actually? Yeah. That church was honestly beautiful. And it was actually a really nice church. Balls. It's more beautiful now that it's gone because, like, you know, nothing's permanent. And okay, um, that that fucking bear might have an issue Fire. with what I'm doing right now. Is this the Oopsies. big one? Oh, it is. The Can we get a time lapse of this spreading here right now? Hello? Hello. So, I heard you did a lot of work in Sage Fijuwu. I did do a lot of work in the, the third location that will not be named. Ooh, did you make this helicopter? I did not. Basically, most of uh, the buildings that line this uh, coast here and that go up to here was me near the boat. So you're saying everything the light touches is your kingdom? Uh, basically, you could say that. That's amazing. So you did house after house after house after house. Yep. Holy sh dude. And I'm just, I'm walking down the street and it's beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of houses here in uh, the third location that will not be named. Save is you your that one. This is the Bistro Scatfell sign. Set. Okay, so this is like a restaurant. I can't go in. No, not. It's a banner. What about this one? Can I go in this store? Nah, that's another banner. No, I don't think you're gonna get very far trying to go in that door. No. This is so stupid. Ooh. I basically did most of this, like... Our plan is to duplicate you. Oh, uh... We needed mo 20 more of these, and then the area would have been done in, like, three days. Because you're just that awesome. I'm that awesome? It's very flattering. You yeah. know who tells me I'm awesome? Your mom? He was gonna say that. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of her. Really? You know her? Oh, yeah. You sure about that? Yep. 19 years ago, I was there. Or however old you were. I think I'm 19? That's well, very how flattering. However old you are, I was there a couple years before you were born. Ah. And then I just hit the road. <laughs> you hit the road. You just left? I think, do you, do you have to pay child I had to support? go build the earth in Minecraft. Basically, oh, that is TNT. How'd that get like that? Did you do that? I did not do that. Well, this was, this was white concrete at one point. Can I go in? Uh. Can I go in now? Oh, uh, maybe. I don't think there's gonna be an inside. This is how I walk into the building. 
I don't think there's gonna be a building after this. This is how I walk into buildings. F you. There are no, there's, there's not. There's no building. There. The building is gone. Now I'm inside. At least you've made a, a hole. Yeah, I've made a, an explosive contribution. Hello? Hi. Okay, so where do you want me to warp? Uh... We can start it, Kirk. Yeah. All right, so show me. Uh, everything I built? Yes. Uh, I did that one, that one, that one, that one. So, like 50% of them or more? I did like most of this. Here I did like 90% of them and all the- Where are we? Where are we? Are we here? Where are you? I don't know. We can't fucking TP anymore. It's pissing me off. Okay. The, I'm on you like let's blue. Just, let's just walk. Okay. Ooh, parking lot. No, I didn't do the parking lot. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. So when you zoom out, you see this roof. It's like, you can't tell that it's snow. But then you come oh, in and then you it see is. that it's snow. And the cobblestone Wait, and snow is actually a really good combination. So hats, yeah, hats to you like, on that. I, I didn't do this. Just We're just pretending that you did. Okay, yeah, I did this. I definitely built this. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. I have it... no idea who did this. Uh, I built like 90% of this. Awesome. Holy crap. Ooh, I like the Acacia wood here. You only choose the ones I, 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 I don't build. I don't know why I keep doing this. I'm sorry. It's like, okay, I'm, I, I built this and this and this and... Ooh, I, I didn't like build this, this either. Ooh. Thank you. It's, they like torture people in here. Well, thank you so much, Scab, for all your contributions. Or Anton or whatever I call you. You're a legend and I, I wish we could clone you. Yeah, that's I a, wish... That's I another joke I've already made. Too. Yeah, you, you always did that one. You're just running out of jokes. Yeah. I wish we could um, clone the jokes. Du duplicate your genetic line. Yeah. Maybe I'll give your mom a call. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is my audio not. Sh it is what it is. I fucking hate that phrase. Whoever came up with that needs to die. But sometimes you have to. S uh, no. F that phrase. Sorry. I regret <laughs> saying that. These cliffs were hell. These cliffs were hell. The lake but was hell. But you stuck to it. Yep. You're a like king legend. When people say that, oh, there's not enough terraformers. Like I totally agree with it. Like I. Let me think. I see how many people I can name off the top of my head that are terraformers. Ben, Ben, Das, Derner, Ding, or Darazo and Woody. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> I that's love about how it. the leader that's... of BTE terraforming is kind of a terraform. Did you dot this this landscape here with this the, the trees and the and the bushes? That's Tim Tim. No, no, uh, it was not. Over here. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't do this part. This wasn't me. I you know I really who did this? Only, who? I did. Nice. In all honesty, I saw this and like this is actually helpful. This is the stuff that I actually want here instead of just green. Day, yeah, exactly. I, I was just like, I'm, I'm looking at the whole thing and I'm like, this is a gigantic f***ing football field. And then I look at Google Maps and it's like, this is not a football field. There's stuff here. I did this cliff. Other people filled in the cliff and then I did everything around the lake and the cliffs. That's basically all I did. Mm -hmm. Plus Kirk too, because I got tired of Kirk. What do you mean Kirk too? The gigantic ass mountain. Kirk you fell. Holy shit. And so, um, was any of this natural Terra one to one generation? Like, did you mold this into something? Into oh, oh no! If you go underneath it, uh, you can see what the actual train looks like. I, this is actually 100 blocks above what it oh, actually is. Wow! I didn't want to deal with how bad the terrain was. Holy crap! You built like a mountain over a mountain. This is insane. How much Why? hours did you spend into this? Outlining, making all the rings probably took around five hours, and then filling probably took another 10, and I didn't even fill most of it. Well, thank you so much for uh, all of your help. No problem. Okay, I'm gonna warp to um, Hallendorf, what the fuck, whatever the f Hollandaise sauce. Been getting pinged all over the place today, like nonstop. I'm a big fan of ping pong. Just kidding, it sucks. Foosball's better. Okay, so was this the primary location that you worked on? I think most of the tree placement can be attributed to a Derzo. So how does the tree placement work once the brush is set up? If you go to the lot, they'll have signs in front of each tree, and so you put in the command on the sign and then you can right click and you'll have a tree and it'll rotate it randomly it'll pick a random one from its category and it allows for like a lot more variety when you're making forests gotcha so then you can just spray and it'll randomly select different trees oh yeah just go rambo mode that's incredible you can make forests so quickly with that and you could go crazy with like the, the amount of trees right you could have like 20 different looking trees i mean we're kind of limited to only a few right now but you in theory could make as many as you wanted that's Amazing. Yeah, and it's, that's the thing. It looks beautiful, dude. Like, when I get into this forest here, it looks totally randomized and natural. As if, like, Minecraft had generated this type of forest itself, except like even better than the default Minecraft forests. We can make this biome yeah, in Minecraft I mean, the, and it would be better. Wanna... Let's pretend these are all flushed out, like perfectly nice trees, big tall pine trees. That's like Green molded trees. shit. It looks like molded shit. 
Really impressively molded shit. Like, it's totally seamless. Like, I don't see any outlines of turds. It's been, like, put in a blender and then molded perfectly. How this would work is you have these assets and these, if you put in the brush for this, would paste all three of these at random rotations. Then you have the next size down, which is medium, and then you'd be able to paste all these in the same brush. And you have small, which would paste all those in the same brush. And it'll spit them out randomly so that it just creates a nice forest. Yep. I don't think we can underestimate just how important a tool like this is for the project. This is still relatively new. This is a breakthrough. If we could just do this, but with the Great Wall of China, we could actually build it. It's not that hard to build the Great Wall of China. You want to see me do it right now? Do what? Build the entirety of Earth and the Great Wall of China, because that's included. Oh, you're going to do it right now? Yeah, I'm going to build the Earth right now. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. Build the Earth five second challenge. Three, is two, this one. Done. Oh, it's it's one a to one, one to one scale. One block to one earth. Well, other than the greatest tool that we've received in the history of our project, did you build anything else? No. Okay. <laughs> the f did I walk into? You guys are weird, man. Pippin! Pippin! I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to control this. How long has this gone on for like half an hour? This has been going on for at least an hour. Not, not exactly this. He's been, he's been all over the place. I can't. Is there anything you guys have to say before we close up Iceland? I think we did a pretty good job doing that whole forest by hand. It was really. You did everything. I took a toll on my body. Like, I did everything. And everything yeah. I did was all by <laughs> hey, myself. You're, you're drunk. I am He's very drunk. upset. You literally sound like Satan right now. Like Marilyn Manson. I <laughs> do not agree. Now you sound I like the Mandarin sound... from Iron Man 3. I guess that was the last interview. How do you feel? I felt like I gave you an interview about trees. Do you feel cleansed? Like a colon cleanse? I feel like the colon before the cleanse.